All I want to make sure, all I want to make sure is the hat didn't get dirty. Nah, the hat didn't get dirty, dog. <laughs> Kelly G, what what happened, man? Let's just jump into it. So, so I, I, I seen the video, or at least I seen part of the video. Now, I'm not reaching my hand inside your window because I didn't even reach my hand inside the window to put the paper there. Set the paper right there. No, you try inside here, sir. I, no, no, no. I didn't, I didn't ask what I can. I said what I'm not going to do. Well, you call whoever you want. Tell them to come get me. All right. Oh, you want to call the cops so they can hand it to me? Is that what you said? That would work, too. I don't I don't I don't really care. I don't really care. You your your attitude dictates this right here. All I want is my paperwork. Yeah. That's all I want is my paperwork. Truck number 7033 STL Truckers out of St. Charles, Missouri. Here, come over here, get the trailer number. Oh, I can tell you that's 55K SOJ. You're really showing your your maturity there but then again i heard that you said that you are an adult trailer number right here right here you get make sure you get your trailer number two nine three five one three Uh, hold on. Now you can call the police on that right there because I got you. I got you on camera right here. I got you on camera. You don't put your camera in my face. You call them. And there's her phone right there on the ground. I guess she doesn't want to come get it. But there it is. That's her phone. No, uh, you you mentioned right. you you mentioned prior to recording that you had it in you had the altercation with that young lady before the 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 video that you started recording. So, which was the reason why I recorded, right? So, take us back to when you actually got there. What what happened? Okay, uh, I've been in this joint before. Um, they got a security guard shack, and the way the security guard shack is set up, they got uh, they got doors on each side. So you know when you're coming in, the inbound, the doors usually open or they slide it open. You get out, uh, giving your driver's license name, uh, your delivery number, blah blah blah. They check you in and you go. They got a door on the other side that they do the same exact thing on the outbound. So when I pulled up, I'm getting out the truck and I walk up there to the door. And she sits there and she looks at me for about five seconds and she says, you got to come around front. And I'm thinking to myself, I didn't even know that they had a sliding glass in the front because then no one has ever used it before, okay? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, she on that bullshit. That's the first thing that came to mind. She on that bullshit. She doing something ain't nobody else ever done. So I go around for it. Wait, I'm standing wait, there. How, how, how 
is you feeling that she's on some bullshit if she asks you to come around to the front window? Because I've been here 10 times and ain't no other guard ever said anything about coming around to the front window. I didn't even know that there was a front window there because like I just told you about the two doors on the side. So that's what I'm saying. She on some bullshit because she doing something whole completely different than any other guard that has ever done. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, you know, I'm like, I'm like, okay, but you know, so I go around front. I'm standing there and I got my paperwork in my hand trying to, you know, I'm sitting there at the window and I'm holding my paperwork kind of like in the window. And she just looking at me and she's sitting there, she's cleaning her glasses and then she look at her watch and she look at her phone. I'm just standing there. Dude comes in on the outbound side. He gets out of his truck. He walks up there and he stands like about 10 feet off behind me. And she tells him, you can come up here. I'm looking at her like I'm standing right here. And he says, Yeah, you can help him. And she says, No, no, no. You can come up here. Wait. No, wait, come here. Bring wait, me your paper. Wait, like, like you st- you you standing there. With I'm your, standing with, in with, the window. With your paperwork out, ready to be taken care of, checked in, checked out, or whatever. And then some dude on the outbound side, you know, I, did did he work for the company? Because I I know no. like I, I know like some security guards would 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 take the company drivers president over OTR drivers. So that no, wasn't the no. case in, in in this situation right here. Nah, no, nah, that wasn't the case. Okay, so so, so, so she the called him up there in front of me, uh-huh. and he was telling her he was like, "Well, you got him," and she just looked at me and then looked at him. She said, "But you can come up here." So I stepped aside to let him come up there, and you know he just kind of shrugged his shoulders, and I said, "Damn, I, I've never came to the front window before." And he looked at me. He says, "Me either." <laughs> okay, so it was something new for both of us, but. Come to find out, first of all, I got there at 3 o'clock. She was just coming on duty. She was just coming on for the second shift. The first shift, the supervisor had just left. So she was doing something different. I'm going to say it again. She was doing something different than what everybody else has done. So when I made the comment, I've never come to the front window, he made the comment, me either, is because apparently when he came in, he went to the side door like I had went to the side door. Okay, front window, side doors. Okay, let's right, let's, let's, right. It let's, doesn't really let's matter. Fa- let's fast forward to the altercation. Okay, so I take after she deals with him. I take my paper and I'm holding the paper out, and she's just looking at me. So I lay the paper on the ledge. The wind blows the paper, so the paper flies on into the window onto the table right in front of her. And if you look at the video, you'll see where the window is at. She is sitting over, when I'm looking in the window, she's sitting over to my left. Okay? So she's sitting to my left. Okay, so she's using the paper. She's writing down all my information, and she says, I need your driver's license. Okay, cool. So I take my driver's license out, and I... You know, so they don't fly in. I take it and I reach in the window and I lay the driver's license down on the table and I put my finger on the driver's license so they don't move. She grabbed the driver's license and looked up at me like, what are you doing? I saw, I took my finger off the driver's license. I stepped back. She got done with the license and she literally tossed my license over to her left all the way across the table. Okay, so sounds, so, so sounds like... Sounds like bitter, bitter security guard, normal shit. Right. So, you what? know, I didn't say anything. Listen, I didn't say anything, right? I just looked at her and I said, are you done with my license? And she just pointed to him. So now, mind you, she's to my left. I got to lean into the window and reach around with my left hand across over to the right out of view and grab my license and pull them back over in front of me. I pull them out, put it in my wallet. I step back and I just stand there. And when she gets done writing on the paperwork, she takes the paperwork and she tosses it over there to the left where she just tossed my license at. And she says, there it is. Get it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, what did you do something to this chick? Like, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't mean, do anything. I mean, I've never even like, seen her. I mean, this sounds like this sounds like you you came off 
and rubbed her the wrong fucking way. Like, oh. are, you, are you sure you didn't step out the truck and be like, yo, bitch, I'm here? <laughs> oh, man, I didn't say anything to the girl at all. I mean, I stepped out and went to the side door, and maybe that pissed her off because, no, you can come around here. And I didn't say anything, but, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, that's new because I didn't even know you have a window up front because every time I come here, the two side doors are open. That's what I'm thinking to myself. Okay. okay, but I didn't say anything. So, yeah, you you got the same vibe I was getting from her, right? So when she tossed the paper and then she said, there it is, get it. I said, this is I said it just simply like this. I said, can you hand that to me? She says, no, you didn't hand it to me. I said, I said it on the ledge, but you didn't hand it to me, so you get it. So I, I stepped back. I just stepped back and I looked at her. I said, you're not going to hand it to me. And she says, she going to cross her arms. She says, I said, there it is. You get it. I said, okay, we'll handle this a different manner. So okay. I go inside. I go inside. I asked to speak to a supervisor. They said, what's going on? So I explained to them. And it's like, oh, well, she doesn't work for us. She works for the security guard right, firm right, that right. is employed. I was like, yeah, I know how that works. I was like, but do you guys know how to get rid of her? Su- I mean, get a hold of our supervisor. And they was like, well, we don't, but our supervisor do. So while I'm waiting, the lady was like, well, you delivering? You picking up or what? I says, well, I'm delivering, but I, I got to pick up also. I just, so I got to get unloaded. And then I got to come around here on this side and get reloaded. So she was talking to me, giving me all the information and everything. But now my truck is sitting in the inbound gate, so can't nobody get in. So I go back out there, and that's when I take the camera. That's where it picks up in the daytime. I go back out there, and that's when I ask her, are you going to hand me my paperwork? Oh, no, you can get it. It's right there. So I know I can, but I ask you, are you going to hand it to me? Well, I'm just going to call the cops. I'm going to call the cops. Are you going to call the cops to hand me my paperwork? So I turned around and left. I went back inside. I said, where's your supervisor? I said, he's on the way. I said, well, she's talking about she's going to call the cops. One girl says she does that all the time. I said, she does what? She, I'll call the cops on drivers all the time. And I says, so this is not the first time y'all have problems with her. I says, no, she has problems with truck drivers all the time. Then why? Says, well, let, let me stop you right there. If, if the company... Yes. If the company knows that that's a that's a problem child and everybody else knows that's a problem child, then why is she still assigned to that uh, that was uh, uh, that place? That post. I have no idea. That was the same thing the police asked when they came there last night. But anyway, so the supervisor came. Supervisor was like, What's up, bro? What's going on? So I told him and I showed him the video that I recorded earlier, and he was like, Her again. I was like, yeah. I said, can you get a hold of her supervisor? He said, supervisor just left. I said, what? He said, she is working second shift. Our supervisor was just here for first shift. I said, damn. He said, but I'll leave a message for a supervisor for tomorrow. I said, okay, cool. So he went over there and he talked to the girl and she, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, can you just get a driver his paperwork? It's right there. I'm not touching it. He threw it at me, so I'm throwing it at him. He says, well, from what I've seen on the video, he said, you know what, never mind. Never mind. He says, you can't be talking to the drivers like that. I don't need you over here reprimanding me. You always coming over here reprimanding me. I am not a child. I am a grown woman. You can't reprimand me. And I'm saying to myself, you act like a fucking child. Is what I said to myself. All okay, right. so. All right. So and, you, and you, you, me, you, get in, you, you, you get in, get unloaded. Right. And now you have to go to the other side. But instead, I go to the other side. But before you no, get no, to no. the other, but before no, 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 no. I was in. I'm still in the same place. So I unload on the north side, and right. I just ride around the building and get reloaded on the south side. Oh, I don't so have to you, deal with her. Uh, oh, okay. You just have to deal with her on the way out. Right. Okay. So now you everything's done. You're on your way out, and instead of of of. You said to yourself that let me go ahead and let me just go ahead and start recording just in case. And well, that's, yeah, but I pulled up to the gate. Okay, I pulled up to the gate and the arm was up. The arm, the inbound arm was up. The outbound arm is up. And I'm thinking to myself, usually that means that the security is gone. But the light was on in the the shack, so I stopped and I'm looking. And I'm sitting over in the parking lot. There's somebody sitting in the SUV over there. I can't see way over there. So I turned the truck off, rolled the window down, and I said, hey, excuse me, is security gone? 
And she says, what you say? I said, it's security guard. There's the security boat right there. And I was like, oh, fuck, it's her. Okay, that's what I said to him. I was like, oh, fuck, it's her. You see the boat and the light is on? No, I'm not gone. I'm like, okay, all right. But you across the fucking parking lot in the goddamn car. I don't know that. Okay, so I, I sat there, and when she comes in, that's why I grabbed the phone because I'm like, okay, let me start recording because I already see where this is going. And that's where everything picks up at. Right, so she so had an attitude. She, she, she had an attitude as soon as I said anything to her. So she said. So she felt some kind of way that you, you know, you came up with your phone like everybody does when they get recorded. The first thing they come out of their mouth is, uh, "You can't record me." But and please, I'm asking to turn your camera off. It's illegal to video me. But you, you know, this is a one, uh, uh, a one party state. You know, so we, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we, we can record whoever and whenever we want i'm just well, saying the, I'm just actually, saying. the police told her the police told her he says let me inform you on something in this state if you are in the general public and you can be seen from the public eye you assume no privacy and you can be recorded by anyone at any time says, as a matter of fact i'm recording you right now for my own safety. And she says, but you're the police. He's not the police. And he pointed up, he says, your company has cameras right here. They're recording me and you right now for our own safety. So you can't tell that man that has had a previous altercation with you that he can't record the next altercation for his own safety. But let me ask you, no. but but let me but let me just say, let me interject on this right quick. You know, when when a whole bunch of people said, you know, they can't they can't record or whatever, whatever, they got their own phones out recording. Exactly. So I mean, what what point does that make? I mean, you got your phone, you you got your phone out recording, and I'm I'm sure you recorded plenty of altercations interactions or whatever the case but yet when Man, you're yeah. being, but when you're being recorded when you're being Dude, recorded why do i see this as a a lockout man podcast rant. I hear this coming. Uh, I hear it coming. <laughs> that's just the, that's just the it to me like when you're recording it's it's okay. It's it's okay. It's whatever whatever but but yet but yet when I record you doing something wrong or in an interaction yeah, yeah, it, yeah, oh, you, can't you got a fucking me. problem. You got a problem. Yeah. All right, so let's fast forward to because we got to we I'm I'm almost at my shop. Let's fast forward to the part where she came out and did a full pre-trip with the phone, bro. No, <laughs> tell me that she wasn't funny, man. Tell me that she wasn't funny, man. I mean, she, I mean, she did a better, she, she did a better pre-trip than most people, man. Truck number 7033 STL Truckers out of St. Charles, Missouri. Here, come over here, get your trailer number. Oh, I can tell you, that's 55K SOJ. You're really showing your, your maturity there. But then again, I heard that you said that you are an adult. Trailer number right here, right here. You get, make sure you get your trailer number. 293513. Checked up under the checked up under the tree exactly. to make sure you was coupled and and, yeah, and walked exactly, around. Dog. You know, she she did the bro. She did the water. She walked around the dog. entire rig, bro. Dog, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna download the video, send it to you, so you can uh, upload it. But here's the kicker to that. Okay, here's what she did. I had no problem with what she did until she turned around and she took her phone and she pushed it all up in my face and hit me in my glasses. And that's when I smacked the phone across the parking lot. Okay, so now you got to read the call let police. Me stop, let me stop you right there, driver. I just got finished 
reacting to a, a, a video of a female uh, that thinks she was going to hit somebody and didn't think those those hands wasn't going to go on her. Females, you guys got to learn, man, that these that these male drive, you know, male drivers or males, y'all not just gonna put your hands on them and inspect them not to do nothing back, man. Exactly. I mean, I understand. We 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 come. We're old school, so we come from an era where our parents tell us. Yo, not the, you know, not yeah, the, not yeah, the don't, don't, don't hit them, you know? but if they hit you, hit them back. They, right. So you're going to mush your phone up in this man's face and inspect no reaction from him? I don't get Dude, it. Dude, the cop asked me because she told the cop that I slapped her. And he says, it's not on the video. No, he did not. He slapped your phone out of his face, which he had to write because you had struck him with your phone. And he says, sir. When she was putting her phone in your face, did you have any idea what she was going to do? I was like, no, I didn't know what she was going to do. I said, hell, that's why I was trying to back up, and she hit me in the face with the phone. Would you like to file charges against her for assault? I said, no, I just want my paperwork so I can go. He said, will you give the man his paperwork so he can go? Because if not, we're going to arrest you for assaulting the driver. He said, it's right there on the video. It's a good thing that the driver did record you because you assaulted him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by putting, by mushing, by mushing the phone in, in, in your face, man. Yeah. And, 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 you know, she's still going to argue with the police. So then she's going to they ask us, well, can we see your ID? She says, I don't have any. He says, you don't have any. He says, no. So he asked this, uh, her supervisor, because by then her supervisor actually showed back up. And he says, are they required to have any type of ID while they're on duty? And the supervisor was like, well, no. He says, they're not even required to have a security ID? He says, no. And I says, well, that was her vehicle over there, I said, let me correct myself. Let me stop. That vehicle sitting across the parking lot over there is the vehicle that she was sitting in when I pulled up. Listen, whether or not listen, that was her vehicle or not, or whether this, or not she was driving that vehicle, listen, I don't know. Listen to this driver's dry snitching. Hey, that that's her vehicle over there, officer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, she she don't have she don't have her ID on her, but. That's that's her that's her vehicle over there. Right there. Yeah, I saw okay, her sitting man. in that vehicle over there. <laughs> yeah, so I had to I had to clean that up, man. You know, I had to clean it up. But yeah, so you ain't got no ID. How are you driving? But hold on, I don't know if she's driving, but she showed was sitting over there, and the lights was on, the vehicle was running when I pulled up. Dry but I can't say she was driving. <laughs> Yeah, officer, that's, yeah that's, that's, her, that's her car over there. I, I don't know if that's her car, but that's the car she was sitting in, officer. Yeah, so, so the uh, the end result was, yeah, after but, looking at yeah. the video and everything, what they told me was, if you don't want to file charges against her, you're free to leave. You haven't done anything wrong. As a matter of fact, we're glad that you pull out. She was trying to say that I had slapped her and that's how her phone ended up over there. Cause I slapped her and she dropped her phone. And I told her, I said, no, I slapped the phone out of her hand. Man, I did not slap her. Hey, hey, bro, that's a $2,000 phone and a $500 deductible, bro. I'm just letting you know off the rip. Yeah. And that's what she said. He broke my phone and it's, it's, it's broken and it cost me $2,000 and I want my money right now. Nah, I want you to make nah, him pay me my money nah, right she, now. Nah, she got a call. She, she got a, she got a, she got to uh, she got to put in a claim for that because uh, any uh, even though she had a case on that, trust me, I I got the, I got the same phone. Trust me, this motherfucker fall, phone, right? this, this this motherfucker falls on fucking carpet is 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 defective. So that's you know I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of real and I'm kind of willing my 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 decision in getting this damn phone because. Of all the issues that I had with it. So, but yeah. now here's the kicker to this, though. Here's the kicker. 
Even though she tried to lie, the cop pointed out something to her and me that I did not know. But she was talking about that her phone was broken and it's laying over there and she doesn't want it, blah, blah, blah. He says, ma'am, your phone is not broken. He says, I'm looking at your phone. And it's still says, recording. Matter of fact, your phone, exactly, exactly. He said, it's still recording right now. <laughs> so we, 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 could take your, we could take your phone and see when you mush the phone it, up it, in it, his it, face. Exactly. And he slapped it out your hand. So I, I don't see where, where the assault came in at. If anything, the assault came from you. But uh Exactly. But overall, man, you know, the, the you know, the you 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 declined to 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 making a charge or anything like that. Uh she's what's what's the, what do you think the end result in your opinion, because you're already gone. But what do you think the end result with, with with the female security guard? Like, what do you? What, is they? I mean, if they having problems with this particular security guard, it, it's time to you know put her at a different post where, where she uh, yeah. would be problematic. That's what the police officer said, and he said if you because they they are. You know, the, the supervisor said that they've had many problems and blah, and I told him what the other people told. The, the officer told the building supervisor, if you guys have had this many problems with this guard, why is she still here? And he says, well, she doesn't work for us. She works for a third-party security company. He says, I got that. But you need to contact that security company and let them know what's going on with this guard because this guard probably doesn't need to be on this post any longer because the next driver may not have as much restraint as this driver, and the next right. driver may do something to her. Right. And you guys have had numerous complaints out of your, he told, out of your own mouth. You guys have had numerous complaints from drivers. So, you know, to answer your question, I just want to say, throw something else in there. If she deals with a hundred drivers a day and 50 drivers complain, does that mean, excuse me, if she deals with a hundred drivers a day and only 25 drivers complain, does that mean that she did not have a problem with 50 drivers and only half of them complain? Or does that mean she only had a problem with 25 drivers? Then the question becomes, why does 25 different people have the same problems with the same person? Well, well, driver, uh, yo, I, I appreciate you coming on and chopping it up with me. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout <laughs> Man podcast show. That's what we do over here, man. Shout out to my man Kelly G for stopping in and and, and telling us what's up, man. Hey, how can they how, how can they follow you, man? How how, how can they follow you? Because I, I saw this on Instagram. Okay, well, you can follow me on my IG at Buzz underscore Hat King, or uh, you can catch me up at uh, Buzz Hat King, excuse me, Buzz underscore Fitted Driver. Um, I am a hat collector, so that's the only way you can catch me is on IG. Facebook page is private. All right, that's what's up, y'all. That's what's up. All right, so Kelly G, man, I appreciate you stopping in, man. Uh, you stay safe trying to trying to call yourself getting in a difficult spot with many spots <laughs> open. <laughs> so let me get on man, the man. Man. <laughs> it's always it's always a pleasure to chop it up with my boy the lockout man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. We'll get together soon, yo. Yo, peace. Later. Oh, I'm out of 5,000 G. She's got it locked, boy. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? It yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Zip for my pussy. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you don't fuck around? Cause they got you, Mr.